one would think the poor people will be frugal. It turns out that the rich folks do a better job when it comes to spending their money than most impoverished people. Poor people allow their money to control them. Instead of being intentional and careful about their spendings, they waste it buying stuff that they don't need. Okay, let's get this straight. Poor people, like every other person, do their best to pay their debts, save some money, and the likes. However, some still end up putting money in some random places. In this video, I'll share with you 9 things poor people waste money buying. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Expensive Homes We all look forward to buying our homes because it's one of the best days of our lives. It's a place where we go to every day for comfort, relaxation and the safest building ever. So, we spend months upon months looking for the perfect structure that will provide enough space for our family and also house specific kitchen, living room and other features. However, in doing this, you always have to remember your budget. You see, when it comes to getting a place of your own, besides wanting to get a space that will make us comfortable, we get tempted to buy something that will look better than our friends, neighbors or even family members' houses. As a result, we overshoot our budget. Poor people mostly fall into this category. They think they have to have the best house among their clan, even if it means going into debt to meet that need or want. 2. Expensive Clothing Poor people like to pose as though they belong to a particular financial class. So, they spend money that they don't have buying ridiculously expensive clothing and accessories. So, instead of purchasing clothes and shoes that they can afford comfortably, they opt for high-end brands. 3. Latest versions of popular gadgets Except if the latest expensive gadget has a direct connection to their line of business or jobs, rich people do not waste money on acquiring costly trendy devices. The truth is that most electronic gadgets become outdated and depreciate way too quickly, which is why rich people make it a habit to find out whether the expenditure will be worthwhile at that particular moment or not. Poor people, on the other hand, want to be seen as wealthy, so they jump on every trend as quickly as possible. Not only do they dislike the idea of being seen as inferior, but they also don't like to come late to the scene. So, they jump on every trendy thing as quick as they can. 4. Impulse Purchases Most of us are guilty of impulse purchases. We see a beautiful bag or shoe lying by the window in the store. And because it's so pretty, we can't get our eyes off it. We get tempted to buy it even if we do not need it. A worst case scenario is when the product comes with a discount. We think we are lucky to be there at the time. And if we do not get it, we may never get the opportunity anymore. The difference between the rich and the poor is that the rich are careful planners and they are intentional about their spending. Poor people, on the other hand, believe that it is an opportunity to make a good purchase even if they don't need it. They fail to ask themselves questions like this. Do they need it? What is the cost implication? Etc. With them, it is more of a situation of, I saw it, I liked it, and I bought it. 5. Fancy toys for their kids Yes, we all hope to raise our children in a way that they understand the value of a dollar, learn how to save, to buy only the things that they need, not want, etc. It is hard when we see what our friends are buying for their kids. So we get tempted to do the same as a way of proving that we are good parents. What poor people don't understand is that while it is nice to treat your kids well and spoil them a little, it is also essential to remember your finances because, in the end, your kids will only focus on the toys for a few weeks or months before moving to another. So, make sure you plan correctly before getting them all the fancy gadgets in the toy shop. 6. Junk Foods There is a misconception that healthy foods are expensive. However, when it boils down to it, junks are more expensive. Have you ever taken a close look at the prices on a basket of fresh veggies? They are affordable. Junk foods, on the other hand, are expensive because they don't last as long as veggies. Also, they don't do your body any good, which means that in the long run, loading your body on excess junk might lead to specific health conditions that will require a lot of money to fix yourself back. Also, 
contrary to what most poor people think. Instead of going to fancy and expensive restaurants regularly, rich people save money by buying fresh vegetables and foods high in healthy fats. 7. Big TVs and Cable Subscriptions According to Zig Ziglar, rich people have small TVs and big libraries, and poor people have small libraries and big TVs. You'd be surprised how much money poor people spend on cable subscriptions, internet subscriptions and other entertaining activity, including video games. After carrying out TV research in different households, Glenn Enoch said, We expected high-income households to own more devices, but we did not anticipate that low-income consumers of all devices had greater usage. 8. Gambling Gambling is a game of chance. It is wagering money or something of value on an event with an uncertain outcome. Why spend money on something that does not have a clear result? Well, T. Harv Ecker once said, Rich people play the money game to win. Poor people, on the other hand, play the money game not to lose money. Do you know the law of multiplying money with money? Well, while the rich have a better understanding of this law, the poor don't. Wealthy people invest their money and let the benefits of compound interest work for them. Poor people, on the other hand, try gambling as a faster way to multiply their money. Guess what? It rarely works because it is a game of chance. 9. Pricey Skincare Products Most of us want to get rid of the dark spots on our skins, clear acne, brighten our complexion, firm our skin, and remove wrinkle, etc. All of this requires a lot of money. As a result of these desires, we end up spending so much money on different pricey skincare products in a bid to achieve our skin goal. The problem with most of these products is that they end up not working because most of them are way too complicated. If we opt for products with fewer ingredients and more attention to our hygiene and diet, we won't have to waste so much money purchasing all kinds of skincare products. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, Watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.